So welcome to our presentation, when knowledge graph meets the TTPs. So here's information about us. Uh, I'm Lauren. And Pearl. So our boss Jack is busy with other things. He's not here. So agenda. The four primary sections of the presentation are background, solution overview, and uh, uh, TDP knowledge graph construction and use construct knowledge graph to uh, reason adaptive attack paths for bus system. So the first part of the presentation background of our, our proposal. So bus, bridge, and attack simulation increasing needs. The following three keys to help a bus solution to improve. The first, the first is, uh, uh, is able to always uh, Keep up, keep up with the attacker's TTPs. And the second, uh, uh, the, should the focus on selecting the appropriate uh, TTP uh, simulation according to the situation, actual situation of the target organization. And the third part is, uh, is able to use an adapt, more adaptive attack path to assess the uh, entire uh, defensive in depth of target organization. So the next part, uh, the, second, uh, se the second part of the presentation is the overview of our solution. Um, uh, this slide shows two, uh, this slide shows a um, uh, general overview of two main course of our solution. Building a TDP knowledge graph is the initial course which involves swiftly and uh, uh, automatically to extract TDP and associate uh, artifacts from uh, sub attack uh, uh, reports. And the second uh, core is to determine uh, the uh, uh, more adaptive uh, attack paths to, uh, uh, to assess uh, actual, uh, the situation, actual situation of the target organization. So these two panels will uh, serve as a framework uh, for our thorough introduction. So the part will bring us the third part of the, of the presentation. So come to the first part, the TDP is tracking automatically. Uh, the pre at the train project used traditional machine learning to track TDPs, and his performance was poor. The death to the IOC project he take NER as the task. He can only mark the word related to techniques, but she cannot identify the ID and the name of the techniques. And the chat GPT of OpenAI can maybe used to extract TDPs by asking questions. We compiled our TDP extractor with ChatGPT. It's interesting that the ChatGPT has a lower FE score than our TDP extractor. Note that the version of the ChatGPT is 3.5 and the test date is May 5 this month. Please select another attachment for detailed information that we have submitted to the committee. Um, we have apply three optimizations uh, to improve the accuracy of TDP extraction. The first one, distinguish primary and secondary techniques. It enable a certain degree of differentiation in techniques and alleviate the problem of an even distribution of training sample. The second one is we extract techniques and uh, tactics from multiple perspectives, such as the command line, the tools, and the code snippers. We use NER to recognize the object, like the tools, malware, and use the techniques associated with this object to infer the result. The third, 
is we use the n-gram sliding window, uh, a nominal ref resolution to extract TDPs on the content of the tag description. We track TDPs using pre-trained language model and transfer learning. A lot of practice has proved that the transformer-based pre-trained language model has achieved the best result in an IP task. Our experiment was also proved that. It's worth to know that we use Chinese word tokenization based whole word masking technology for Chinese material with the pre-trained language model. Language model we use transfer learning to train model for TTP extraction. We build a pipeline to from unstructured text to the extracted TTPs and represent as a graph. Now we have graph TTPs automatically. Then come to the next part, the semantic web building. Uh, our TTP knowledge graph includes three core parts. The TTPs, meta tag, playbooks, the NVD and the PCAP date are complement to the vulnerability attacks. So the first, we defined the relationship between technique and the asset. For example, the RDP technique needs to run on the Windows platform. It also needs the RDP service to be in running state. And then we define the relationship between technique and permission. One is the permission the technique needs to run. This, the other one is the technique it can obtain. Also, we define the relationship between the data source and the technique based on the meta, meta attack detection model. And based on the result, a necessary result of our SOC operation, we associate the defense product with the data source, such as the EDI is associated with the Windows registry. Here is the whole picture of the all the entity and the relationships we defined based on the meta tag. It includes the technique, um, the asset information, the permission information, and uh, the techniques, and uh, the left, the defense product. For the extract TDPs and the playbook, we defined the following relationships. For example, the procedure can access the playbook, the playbook attack asset. For the NVD and the PCAP date, you also define the following relationship, such as the vulnerability attack X playbook. Now we have construct TDP knowledge graph how to reason for BS we introduce Barry. So let me introduce so let me, uh, let me introduce the last part of the presentation uh, attack pass uh, attack pa adaptive attack pass reasoning for bars.
Um, before the uh, introduce the reasoning, I introduce the data use for assessment first. Um, by providing these data, uh, can, uh, can, uh, the adaption can be uh, uh, realized and uh, reliability of the uh, assessment result can be guaranteed. The first point is asserted information for the target organization. Uh, this asserted information includes web service, host information, install software, and uh, uh, operation, even operation system status, and so on. The second point is the um, net network topology for the target organization. Uh, ensure the authenticity of the a network topology where the assets are located as 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 uh, uh, much as possible. For example, determines the uh, area of the uh, asserts, uh, the DMZ, Office, Cloud, and other of, uh, for uh, production uh, and such kind of errors. And uh, the third point is uh, uh, should have provided the defensive depth topology of the uh, target uh, target organization. So you need to keep a asset based security uh, topology, topology is as real as possible. Uh, for example, determines uh, which asserts are protected by uh, which uh, uh, security products. So uh, this slide shows uh, uh, two main parts of the, our TTP reasoning engine. The first part is the tactic and the technical reasoning, and the second part is uh, uh, procedural reasoning. And its initial input is uh, 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 information of the assert, uh, target, uh, target assert, uh, export assert, uh, which uh, that means the, the entrance of the simulator attacks and uh, the information about the defensive in-depth security products information. And uh, after a suitable TDP uh, playbook uh, is written, uh, 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 the subsequent of the input uh, uh, about our, our assertive target assert state information and uh, uh, the target defensive uh, in-depth security products information. And uh, the results of the uh, previous step simulation attack, uh, whether to obtain the permission is most important. So the first part of the TDP reasoning engine, uh, reasoning about the tactic and the technicals, actually it's based on MIT attack framework. The first dimension is uh, uh, the, the MIT attack framework, uh, uh, kill chance determines the uh, tactical routers, but we have made some adjustments. Uh, for example, we uh, taking the initial access and the first, for, first phase at the beginning and uh, placing the credential access and uh, uh, later movement at the end. And the second dimension is using the uh, results of the previous sim uh, simulation attacks uh, and uh, combine with the assert. The assert uh, condition and the plan for that should meet the tech next uh, reasonable, uh, reason uh, technicals and uh, defense in depth uh, information to reason, uh, to reason select, uh, to reason to select uh, uh, most uh, possible uh, technical uh, user in next phase. So, uh, actually, in my attack framework, there are some technicals that require some certain permissions to uh, perform a successful attack, and some techni technicals also uh, can obtain or escalate the permissions after a successful attack. That means the attack path based on Permission never changed is uh, can better simulation, uh, uh, better simulation, uh, real sub attacks. Uh, let's using the let's use the T one one nine zero exploit public facing application as an example. Uh, before this technical uh, attack uh, uh, is uh, is successful start, it is not uh, uh, the obtained permission is uh, uh, uncertain which depends on the running identity of the target application. If the target application running as a normal user, so the normal user level, permission level will be obtained if it uh, executed successfully. And if it used as uh, a system user, system user, the system uh, permission level will be obtained. Uh, 
So the next technique also will continue to use the obtained permission level to continue to uh, uh, attack uh, next, uh, to, uh, for next uh, st attack steps. Uh, it is not, uh, it, it is should uh, uh, not that the permission, the concept of the permission level we used here is, uh, means that uh, uh, the permission level uh, in, in, contain, uh, in, include, uh, in, uh, contains inclusion relationship. Uh, for example, system permission level can use, act as the permission uh, administrator and the normal user and uh, some techniques which need uh, no need to any permissions. So actually in this example, uh, based on the identity of the running, uh, running application in the input assert information and uh, based the uh, impacts, three impacts metas in CVSS information, uh, reason whether the corresponding permission can be obtained. Uh, the, uh, actually the application is running as a normal user, so normal user uh, it, uh, will be uh, obtained when it uh, successfully executed. So this slide shows that before T1110 technical attack start, uh, the, the next uh, technicals uh, is not knowing which appropriate technicals can be used in next phase. And the same problem also exists with the technicals which can be executed with multiple permission levels. But this slide shows that after T1190 uh, uh, attack finished and obtained a use, uh, normal user permission, the next uh, steps will continue to use uh, uh, with this the use with this normal user permission to, until a higher permission level obtained. Okay, so the second part of the TDP reasoning engine is about uh, uh, procedures reasoning. Actually, it's based uh, on the separate takes which happened in the real world. This is also the reason why we introduced uh, TDP uh, extraction automatically at the beginning. Uh, according to the permissions obtained or earned in the provide step simulation attack, as well as the target assert uh, information, uh, from uh, the most possible TDPs will be selected from the knowledge graph uh, to, according to the quality and the popularity of real attacks, cyber attacks. This slide shows that after using the normal user to execute uh, uh, Windows command share, there are multiple techniques to choose in the next, in the uh, privilege escalation phase. Uh, and the similar, after use, after you, uh, use user permission to execute UAC bypass to obtain, obtain the administrator permission level, there are also multi -tech techniques to choose from. This slide shows that according to the permission obtained or earned and the assert state information after procedural reasoning, uh, the, the possibility score of the technicals is displayed. And uh, the top one is highlight. Um, when, using, when using this uh, specific vocabulary, actually this can be uh, uh, set by some configurations you can see the policy uh, uh, such as uh, performance priority or uh, coverage priority to determine the how many technicals do you, uh, you want to execute. So finally, let me introduce the, about the reasoning through a small real world case. The board of the the bottom of the slide shows that the topology, network topology consists of internet, DMZ, and office. And uh, DMZ has a, a host with a bus agent is deployed, and uh, office has two agents with a bus agent deployed. 
and uh, in the uh, on the host uh, uh, in the uh, DMZ era, there are some uh, web service running. Um, the target service, uh, they are web logic server, uh, confluence server, Spring framework, and uh, in uh, Office, in the host of, uh, of the uh, Office, they are exchange server and RTP uh, 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 running on each, uh, each host. And the target operating system are Windows, uh, Semi OS, and uh, Windows Server. Therefore, the TTP reason engine will only reason the attack paths around above our search. And the defense in depth topology consists of IPS, IDS, WAF, CWPP, and EDR. Therefore, the TTP reasoning engine will reason uh, the attack paths that these secret products can generate detection data. So let's look at the key attack path on the bus agent host number one with the standard OS running operation system. According to the exposed service, WebLogic, Confluence, and Spring selects corresponding vulnerability to, uh, uh, to simulate attacks. And finally, we find actually there is a playbook simulate uh, Simulator attack is, is successful. Uh, that is uh, defense in depth secret products uh, didn't uh, prevent this. So after the after the playbook executed, the normal user or uh, the normal user permission is obtained. So according to the normal user is obtained, uh, select a reason next TDP playbooks to attack. Uh, uh, send OS a Linux uh, uh, operating system, a loop until credential access phase. And uh, in lateral movement phase, based on the previous step simulation attack result, still, still keep on the, the user permission of the host number one and the running service uh, exchange server running on the next, uh, next, next uh, uh, bus agent, host number two in office era. So according to the exposed uh, exchange server service running, selects corresponding vulnerability pay, pick up playbooks to simulate attack. And finally, uh, someone, someone uh, playbooks is ex ex executed successfully and again the system Permission level. That means the next uh, uh, attack, attacker will continue to use the system level, system permission level. So uh, since the operating system is uh, a Windows server, the target, uh, the target is uh, this uh, operation. This uh, about a post uh, attack uh, loop until the. Ex uh, Credential access phase. Actually, in credential access, it dump it dumps some very important credential. For example, administrator of the of the DC. So, for the later movement phase, based on the uh, previous permission obtained, credential of the uh, host host number three, the administrator. Credentials once logging logging on the host number two. So maybe we can use the reasoning engine can reason some uh, TDP playbook to uh, according according to the uh, administrator credential of the uh, uh, host number three and uh, uh, and the RDP uh, the service on the host uh, host number three. So if successfully transferred to this server via RTP with the next TTP playbooks to attack a loop until the, until the end. So next, the te uh, top, uh, technology stack, we use the pretest to build our uh, 
um, semantic web uh, uh, knowledge graph and uh, use Jena with hybrid uh, rural engine to reason the suitable TDP playbooks. Uh, actually, the, the, the rule based on the standard RET algorithm uh, and, and uh, uh, with support, support the incremental compute. And the logical pro programming engine with uh, Tabling, which can catch the some results. Uh, if the results didn't uh, change, so the uh, reason result will keep in the catch. And the performance part, we, the JVM, we set some parameters. For example, this, uh, we set the, uh, the minimal memory used is one gig and the maximal, uh, maximal memory is 10 gig. Now the, the, the performance, the every speed, uh, ring speed according to the JVM parameter setting uh, and the uh, to read the next step uh, take, took us about uh, 30 seconds. Okay, demo time. So since the demo took a long time, we pre-recorded the demo. Sorry. It's okay to show. So the first part of the demo is to extract the TTPs automatically. There is our internal system. So let's start. Sorry for the Chinese since the, since the system already developed for, for two years. So we we catch we capture uh, find a, a report a report just uh, copies some contents from the reports title link and some meta information about the reports the data the published data so submit to our models to grasp the TDPs so the TDP the result shows that the uh, TDP result uh, and associated associated artifacts. <laughs> At the bottom of the uh, page, here are some IOCs and other artifacts. And uh, we needed to uh, add them to the knowledge graph uh, when we switch to another system. So let me find the attack group, vice society. And find the campaign, no, the first one. So just click to find the recent results. And there are three different views of TTPs. The first, the first, one, the first one is assertive view, based on assertive view. And you can click some buttons to show more information. And we also can, uh, we can look at the pure text model. So this is a attack framework mapping. And uh, this here is the uh, pure text. And uh, some RLCs. So the second part of the demo is show the how TTP reasoning engine work. So actually there are three different three three parts in the demo. The first part is a web console to show some information according to the TTP reasoning engine and the bus agent. And the second part is the TTP reasoning console to show some information uh, uh, output from the uh, TTP reasoning engine to show, show the real-time reasoning result. And the second, third part is the uh, bus controller with bus agent. So let's start the demo. After we run the TP reasoning engine, we found the engine is working. Okay. So the engine already received uh, uh, assertive information and uh, 
uh, depth defense in depth secret data and uh, uh, network topology sent by the uh, uh, bus controller. So the assert information about that small real world case and the IP. <coughs> Actually, these three, par this, this, these three parts also deploy in company internal. The defensive in-depth security products information, their category. So we didn't specify the, uh, any secret product names. We just specified them as, as the category. So the category we actually uh, introduced from port. So let's switch to the system to show the, to look at look at the uh, reasoning engine result and the bus agent uh, execute the result. So actually, the playbook is, is, is shows on this page. So we can see there are some uh, cat columns on the, on the top of the uh, list. So we have result, bus agent execute result, and the security products around with the assert. And the, the, asserts, the, error belong, uh, the asserts belong to the error, uh, and uh, the details, assert information and the privilege of tender information and the tactic and technical and the possibility information. And the privilege required after the success, after a successful uh, TDP playbook. So we can see the uh, top of the uh, list, there are the, the simulation attack uh, uh, also failed and uh, there's nothing, none, any permission to obtain. Or should allow. So let's continue. So there's some data, uh, some information about the playbook. Actually for vulnerability part, we use the PCAP data to simulate attacks. So attack to, attack, attack to the WebLogic server. Uh, we can, uh, it's not, a sh it should not, not that the, da the data also flows the CPE format. So we can do many, uh, uh, comparing and uh, some other, uh, so we can, let, let's stop here. And we find the result, the, the, the 20th step is, is attacked successfully and the user permission is obtained. So before this, this TTP playbook attack starts, there's now any permission and after it runs successfully, and not prevented by the defensive in-depth security products. That means that no more user permission is obtained. So next, next, next attacks will follow, uh, will continue to use the normal user permission to attack Linux. So we can see uh, when we use, uh, when the attack reasoning uh, according to the user permission level to uh, reason next steps of TDP playbooks, so we can see here, when you want to uh, execute some techniques, it needs uh, uh, permission levels, and uh, the user also meets the requirement. So let's speed up, it's too long. Okay, next, the, the attack simulator attack sim, uh, switch to the next uh, uh, host, the host uh, located in the office area, uh, which also include, uh, also reason by the ne network topology 
their network connectivity. So try to try to attack the similar attack the exchange server. And finally, in this step, some one of the CVE is uh, uh, executed successfully, so the uh, system level uh, system permission level is obtained. So the next uh, simulator simulation attacker will continue to use the system level to attack, take the system and take the other service running on the on this service. Okay, let's be that. Actually, in in some case, in some playbooks uh, steps, the credential dump will will successfully to to use to uh, next uh, technicals. So speed up. Okay, so we found here the, the, the simulation attack about to credential dump, dumping is successful. So that means he get, uh, the simulation result contains the result uh, permission level and uh, another uh, credentials about the next step used uh, uh, commit conditions. So speed up. So we can, uh, the next steps will show the result uh, to attack uh, the next uh, hosts. So, okay. So the demo, uh, the demo part is is, is is okay. So let me switch to the. Okay, since the tour, we, we, we actually plan to open the some information. Actually, the tour is still under, under the company's legal review. And the, uh, and the um, link on the, on the slide may be not available now. But uh, however, uh, kind of save this link as, uh, as, uh, as the uh, part the contender which has has passed the review will gradually in, uh, visible on this link. So Black Hat sound bots. Actually, we solved the two two. Uh, we we introduced two parts of the uh, of our solution. The first the first takeaway is uh, three key problems to improve the accuracy of TTP instruction help which helps defender keep up with the attacker's TTPs. And uh, another is a practical, a practical approach for building TTP oriented knowledge graph can help us with a more adaptive attack paths to assess the entire defensive in depth of the target organization. So, any question? Please. Hi. Okay. Hi. Um, so as with any knowledge graph, the, the quality always depends on the, the kind of uh, raw data you feed it to, to build the graph, right? Yeah. So uh, how are you, uh, how have you faced any issues in, uh, in uh, getting quality data for training this TTP because most of the data that is out there has a lot of bias mm -hmm. because uh, if it's if it's any report or uh, anyone who's who's publishing this data it is from a very uh, limited view if it's a if it's through a EDR vendor or something they they have a certain ways of detecting TTPs and they only talk about those similarly with many other uh, sources of data so uh, have you faced any uh, issues in getting uh, proper and full coverage of the of all the TTPs to train your model? Uh, actually, we only uh, use the 
the uh, 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 three the reports from the internet, the open open information according to the various vendors. So we keep to extracting them. So to build a knowledge graph to read the next uh, uh, stimulate tech steps. See, okay. So anyone else to raise some questions? Okay, I think the time is over. So thank you for us to attend us. Thank you.